So I woke up ridiculously early for a Saturday, probably the earliest I've ever woken up on the weekend as a college kid. But it wasn't just any Saturday, it was a graduation Saturday. As I got dressed and brushed my teeth, I couldn't help but think back to my previous graduation four years ago. A lot of things would be the same. You get dressed up, you wear robes, unfortunately not wizard. You put on shoes that hurt your feet, and you don the goofy hat. But as we left our hotel and walked across campus, I thought about how there were also many things which would be different. I've had so many wonderful, exciting, and terrifying experiences since then. There have been many firsts since I graduated from high school. First time living on my own. First time living with a new roommate I didn't know. First time getting a car. First time going on vacation with just friends. First road trip. First wizard rock concert. Thinking of all these firsts made me realize that today would also be a day of lasts. The last time I would use this key card to open this door. The last time I would perform the Tetris miracle of fitting an entire room into a minivan. The last time I would move everything I own halfway across the state. The last time I would see all the familiar faces I've come to expect in my day to day. The last time I would wander these ridiculously poorly planned sidewalks. The last time I would pass the building where I spent at least part of every day and where I learned so much. But this day is more than a day of lasts. It's also the beginning. It marks the start of something so much more. There are so many people to meet, so many things to experience. Life is a constant parade of firsts and lasts, with all the middles in between. Really, this one day, though important, isn't what I will remember years from now. It's not about the firsts and the lasts. It's about the in-betweens that make life worth living. The in-betweens are what gives the first and the last their meaning. We've all heard that life's not about the destination, it's about the journey. There will always be a destination to work for. There will always be firsts and lasts to make note of. But it's the in-betweens that matter. The in-betweens make us who we are. And as I walked across that stage, I realized it's all the new in-betweens that I look forward to the most. Congratulations, class of 2011. Welcome to another beginning, and best wishes for all the wonderful in-betweens still to come.